Hello viewers, we'll be going over gush and drip. In this video, we'll be using the day-by-day -day probability model as our support and resistance gauges. And these models are based on past trends that are similar to the current trend, but not identical. So do keep that in mind. So let's start with the technical analysis. On Friday, gush was down roughly around 3.5% on the one-hour chart. We see a slight convergence to the upside for the one-hour MACD. And if we extend that further on the four-hour chart, we see the opposite happening. We are starting to approach to negative four-hour MACD. On the daily chart at the moment, we may see lower lows and we'll use the day-by-day -day probability model as our support. So this model is basing it on one model found and the sample size is small, so it's not statistically significant. So do keep that in mind. So. Based on this one model, it is saying 100% chance for a gush to fall between negative 6.6% to negative 13%. So we'll mark the worst case scenario of 13% drop from where we're at on Friday. So that price movement to the downside of 13% is roughly around a price of $30.80. And that is also coinciding with the 50 day moving average, this yellow line. And we also bounce off of that 50-day moving average here as well back in May 14th. And to the upside, if we do manage to reverse higher on the opposite standard deviation, 0 to 6.6%, or if we were to do one for one opposite, 6.6% to 13% chance to head higher, we'll just use 13% higher and that price movement to the upside is roughly around, I would say, if we move from where we're at to 13%, that price movement is roughly around $39.89. So that is our resistance to the upside. So now let's examine drip. For drip on Friday, it was down roughly around 3.9%. And for the one hour chart, we starting to see a divergence on the one hour MACD. If we extend that further on the four hour MACD, we are starting to see the opposite in play. We'll be examining XOP, which is an underlying asset or underlying ETF for drip and gush. So we'll do that later. On daily chart for drip, we'll find the support and resistance again we only are basing it on one model and the sample size is small, not statistically significant, so do keep that in mind. So back then, the trend was forecasting 100% chance for a drip to fall between 0 to negative 7%. If that were to happen to the downside, that price movement is roughly around, let's say, around $6.33. So fairly close to where we bottom out during last week. And it, to the upside, if we do manage to head higher, say 7% to the upside, that price movement or price range is roughly around, I would say, $7.40. So let's examine XOP, which is the underlying ETF for drip and gush. So on the four, four hour chart, we have XOP was down roughly around 1.7% on Friday. Again, we like gush, we are approaching to negative MACD. And if we extend that further on the daily chart, we start to see sideways, sideways action on the daily MACD. And we are counting on the, the support that was made back in May to act as our support for gush and XLP and resistance for drip. So in this video, we went over gush and drip. If you enjoy this, Content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.